Okay, hi guys, this is my product review of this piece of kit here, which is the Showtech Outdoor Dome, a uh, protective dome for moving heads um, and other fixtures. Um, so I was looking online doing a bit of research, I couldn't find a great deal of videos on this. I imagine it's because it's quite a specialist bit of kit, not so many people have it. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick video just to run through a few of the features, hopefully fill in some gaps that you might have um, in your reasoning with whether or not you need it, uh, the sort of stuff that I could have done with known before I took the gamble on it. Um, so it's made by Showtech. I got this one from Thoman in Germany. Um, fantastic service from Thoman all the time. Uh, arrived here to the UK within about three or four days. Um, cost was £350 and I'll save you the bother of checking the internet, that's the cheapest price you're going to find it for anywhere. Um, brand new with three year warranty. <coughs> um, so I bought it for this light here which is a Jenny OB 600 wash. Um, I've got a pair of these so I'll be using a pair of the domes for when I do outdoor washing of buildings. Um, and I can also get quite a good searchlight effect going on on a white beam. Um, but obviously in the UK, changeable weather, you don't want to get your expensive moving headlight covered in rain, dust, dirt, sand, whatever. So um, this is one of the best options <coughs> to protect it. Um, you know, you've got other options from places like China with solid perspex domes, but if you want to take the risk of something like that going wrong and then what do you do? Do you send it back to China? These are massive items. Um, Thoman will collect if anything goes wrong, they'll pay all the return costs and they'll probably just send you a new one at the end of the day um, if anything happens to go wrong with it. So onto the unit itself, I'll give you a quick rundown of what comes in the large box. Uh, you've got the base unit here, um, you get this which is a bar slots on the top, this is for mounting your moving heads on when you happen to hang this upside down or sling it or just if you want the moving head secured on there. Um, I won't be using it because I'll be using it upright. So we'll have the moving head sat directly on top of here. Um, you can get your bolts as well to attach that. Um, you get two domes, um, 150 centimetres, 1.5 metres. Probably won't use that one because the shorter one is ample. I've already had this out because I've had a go on it. Uh, this is 120 centimetres, 1.2 metres. Um, I can't really see why you need anything bigger than that. Um, the other one is just a handy spare. Um, but if you've got a moving headlight that's taller than that, it ain't going to fit on there widthwise anyway. So, okay, so it's rated for a 575 watt moving head as a maximum um, HTI bulb. Uh, that's what that has got, 575. So any bigger than that, and I think you're going to get heating issues. Perhaps maybe that's why the cutoff point. Um, You've got lots of space on the top, huge platform to mount your light on. Um, I'll start from the bottom and work my way up so you can get an idea of what's going on with the base unit. If I just zoom in a bit here. Okay, so firstly, you've got three real good quality sturdy casters, all three are locking. Um, you don't want it rolling off anywhere when you're using it. Two fan inlets, <coughs> um, pretty monstrous fans in there which you'll hear in a minute when I fire it up. Um, here's your brackets for slinging from trussing or you know hanging from anything else like that. Um, and your power cable. Um, I think this strange little block here which I was worrying, wondering about is to do with the pressure switch which I'll cover in a minute. And then as you go up the unit, you've got your Velcro which runs the full length all the way around the perimeter. It's riveted on. Um, it is stuck on in between with the glue but I've noticed it's starting to come away in places where I've peeled the dome off once or twice. Um, so I'm just hoping the rivets do their job and hold everything else in place. Obviously when you put the dome on, smooth it down really firmly and the glue will just reattach itself. Okay, so on to the top. <coughs> oh, it's a quite a heavy unit by the way, so um, have to get used to that. First thing, you've got two plugs here. One 16 amp plug and one 
receptacle for a two pin euro plug um, plugs you get on the continent so I spoke to Showtech direct because I had concerns and uh, you can use both of them at the same time and I've since tested that and they both work fine because um, this is for my headlight and this is for my standalone DMX controller which is going to be mounted in here with the light um, you've got a safety eyelet here um, I guess if you're slinging this upside down and trust that's to go onto your light uh, here's your four mounting bolts for that little frame I showed you earlier. Uh, these four holes are for the fans. They power the air in through there and you've got an exhaust outlet here and that can also be used for feeding your DMX cables through. Um, which was something I wondered about because when I looked at the pictures, the pictures online are really really sparse and there didn't seem to be a way of getting DMX in. So luckily that takes care of that. <coughs> okay. So what I'm going to do, um, quickly fire it up, get the light on top and you can have a quick look at how it runs. You just have to bear with me a minute while I uh, move this beast into position. Now as you can see, this is one of the larger moving heads I've come across and it fits just fine. Um, you shouldn't have much problems fitting most moving heads onto here. Let's just get you down there where I am. There we go. Yeah, so worth checking the dimensions though, just to be sure. Um, but it fits on there and I can see when I move it that there's no way it's touching the dome. So the dome feels like quite good quality. It's really thick plastic. Um, it's like embroidered seams and all the velcro is properly embroidered on. So uh, fingers crossed it will hold up to a lot of punishment. You can buy spares from uh, online. I think Thoman do them, I'm not sure. I don't think they're entirely expensive. And you've got the spare larger dome that comes with it anyway. Um, which should provide you with a backup. Now the one thing about this is it is a tricky bugger to get on. So when putting the Velcro into place, you want to be pulling this as tight as you can to give yourself much purchase for the last bit as possible. All the way around. Good thing is though obviously once it's on it's very secure. Um, you don't want it popping off in the middle of a job. But should it pop off or get cut or damaged or even lent on too hard the unit itself has a <coughs> built-in pressure switch so it will sense that this dome isn't inflated and it will kill power to your light so your light's not going to carry on spinning around and setting fire to plastic um, and the same thing when it's inflating it won't feed power to your light via them two plugs until this dome is sensed the dome is full <coughs> so, before I fire it up, I'll just say a few things because it's too loud to talk over when it's going. But um, the dome on inflation feels rock solid. It's, it's really good quality. The fans are absolutely ridiculously powerful. Um, sort of think bouncy castle fans, and I think that's the sort of pressure you're looking at. Um, so yeah, it should be quite, quite well uh, sturdy. Um, even with the lights on, you know, you're getting good clear transparency of your beam. Um, and it actually makes a feature of the dome, funnily enough. The dome sort of turns into this um, weird bubble light with uh, all the different colours going on. But I'll fire up my head, it'll go into a demo mode, so you'll get to see sort of briefly what it does. Um, I'll turn the lights out. So there she goes. It takes just a few seconds to inflate, and then the light turns on. You know, it's, it's fairly well solid. 
just to make sure all these are on nice and tight, which they are. So, I mean, you've got wrinkles in it, which I don't think you can really avoid. Maybe they'll iron themselves out after uh, one or two uses. Off go the lights, so you can kind of see the effect already. Um, I spoke to Showtech about the running cycles. They said you can use it for you know a full evening or a full event, no problems. Um, they're not really suited to be permanently mounted outside, so um, you're going to want to be bringing it in or sheltering in it if you're doing a long-term job. Um, I've had people tell me these get used a lot in Ibiza on the beaches, protect them from the sands, as I don't imagine there's much rain to worry about out there. But um, just good all-round protection if you value your moving heads. So, there's mine just firing itself up, finding its bearings. And then hopefully it'll uh, start doing its thing. I appreciate this isn't too exciting to watch. Come on. There we go. So as you can see, no problem with the light getting out. Um, the dome itself, you know, it turns into a bit of a light unit. Um, my only concern was that, you know, people are going to get drawn to it, uh, attracted by it and start poking it. You know what kids are like. Um, and drunk adults. But uh, that's just a risk I'm going to have to take. So what I've done on mine, um, it comes with a two pin Euro plug, the actual unit itself. I've switched that out for a 16 amp connector, um, which you're gonna wanna do anyway. If you're using these outside, you're not gonna wanna be using anything other <coughs> than IP rated connectors um, and Arctic blue cable if you're gonna be feeding it because what with the light and the f unit itself, you're knocking on the door of a thousand watts. So, uh, and outdoors as well, so good armoured cable, recommended. There you go, you see the different colours, the dome sort of lights up in, under its own sort of steam and it's quite a nice, quite a nice effect. So a pair of these, either side of an entranceway or washing the side of a marquee for a wedding or any type of corporate event where the building's got particularly nice architectural features, do just a nice bit of DMX programming. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite a good effect. So, highly recommended and well worth the price tag. Now, now I've seen the quality and the build, I can appreciate why the price is as it is, um, which was about £350. Um, if you're really lucky, you can find them second hand, but very rare to find a second hand one. So, uh, there you go, that's my review of the Showtech Outdoor Dome. I'll be doing one soon for one of their other domes, which is a long, flat, rectangular type of dome, um, suitable for housing, one metre battens, LED bars, uh, maybe smaller light fixtures or even a laser. So um, that will be coming shortly. So hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks Em.